Hey everyone, today I am opening up the new um, Capstone game release, Coffee Traders. Welcome back everyone, my name is Jeff. Today I am unboxing Coffee Traders. Uh, this game, I actually didn't know Hadn't even heard of it before I saw it in my local store. Um, watched some reviews, saw some unboxings, and it instantly grabbed my interest. Um, love coffee, love board games, so it seems like a no-brainer, right? Has purple meeples, so must be good. Anyways, join me at the table as I unbox this. This is a big, hefty box. Like I said, I watched some review or uh, unboxings, so have a bit of an idea what to expect in here. The box is pretty cool. It's made to look like a crate on the front with a sleeve on it. Ah, uh, yeah. And then it's meant to look like from the inside, the light through, that's pretty cool. All right, so lots and lots of good chunky bits here. In good quality. There's the pickup trucks, civet cats, and all the different player colors. Very cool. I'm always a fan of bits. Some buildings. Player colors are nice and vibrant too. I like that. More buildings. I'll post some close up pictures of these two. Overhead, over top. Level two plantations. More buildings. There's the donkeys. Again, and all the player colors. Action cubes. Screen printed uh, player markers for the different tracks. Turn order. Little meeples, these are neat. They're actually more like human-like than meeple, but. Huh, really good, good detail. Round marker. Here are some natural colored meeples. These guys are a bit smaller than the, yeah, smaller than the player color ones. A bit different design too. I believe these big buildings are the hospitals. Cause this is um, their origins of fair trade coffee. So these corporations were making the working conditions better for the farmers. These are the different color coffees each player has on their board to track the amount they have. Level one plantations. Some do not eats. Now these, these funnily enough are what I was looking forward to. These are coffee beans. In the player colors. These are really, <laughs> really cool. I was looking at some like this um, in brown for Teotihuacan for the cocoa beans actually. I might have to get them. Yeah, these are nice. Metal coins, which is awesome. So I don't have to track down metal coins for this game. It comes with them. That's great. Okay. So that's all the bits. That is a ton. I wonder if this box weighs so much. We have score pads. That's kind of neat. Looks like there's coffee stain on the bottom here. It's almost like a waitress pad. Okay. Not sure if I'll play this game enough times to worry about this running out before I have to laminate, but 
Official two player rules. I'm sure that I will be trying out the two player rules at some point as that seems to be a majority of my games are two player games. Here is the rule book. Ah, no, I thought this was actually coil bound from the videos I saw, but this one I have here is, uh, is not just made to look like it, which is kind of clever. Coffee stain again, that's really neat. This is a nice uh, convenient size rule book. Some rule books I find are really hard to read because they're such big sheets. Well, it's got some, um, the process of making coffee and five countries that produce. Huh, and then the civet coffee. That's cool. I'll have to be for sure give that a read. Next up, we have the player boards, the player ledgers uh, in the five different player colors. These feel really nice, actually. So from what I've seen, these look really cool. They're like a, yeah, looks like a notebook. Again, we got the coffee stains on here, which is cool. It, my wife said it looks a little boring, but, and I can see what she means, but they're going for like the notebook ledger. So I, I kind of like it. It's a little thematic in a sense. Very nice feeling though. That's a good quality. So yep, five player colors. I don't know. If, I don't believe there's any difference between them. I think they're all the same. Oh, I guess the makes sense. The spots on the board match the player color. I guess it kind of helps you remember what color you are. I do have that problem from time to time. Here is the cardboard. Wow, this is thick. That's thick cardboard. No, no, they punch out very nice. Okay, looking forward to sorting this later. Uh, I got the trade conversion um, tokens in each player color, and you can improve them as the game goes on, kind of like Catan, I guess, in a sense. You can trade coffee four to one to start, and then as you upgrade, you can get three to one, and then up to two to one. The negative points for when you don't um, have enough money at the end of the round. Here's a contracts. These looked pretty neat, how it determined where you started on the board and such. Again, the game, some more contracts and the milestones. So these are different every game, which is going to help um, with replayability. There are only three of each type. So, I mean, eventually if you play it enough, you'll run out of different combinations, but based on the weight of this game, I'm not sure I'll get it to the table as much as I'd like. That's really cool. Inside of the box looks like it's full of coffee beans. I like that. All right, and then the main player board here, or the main board, sorry, not player board. This thing is huge. I'm gonna have to see it. There's no way this is all gonna fit in the camera shot. Wow. We'll have to see if I can pop the camera off the tripod and, and get this um, full shot here. I don't know if I can do. Let's see. Well, for starters, I got it upside down. That's a good. This thing has to be at least three feet wide, if not more. It's very vibrant though, I like that. So, the Arabica track over here, where you track your progress in the different um, companies. Round marker. And then the, the 
boards broken up into five different companies and then the wild civet spot up there and then it has the coffee coffee bars over there where you can deliver coffee to to score points and it has a end game points kind of like area control similar to to kenu with the um the house track the house area if you've played that game but man this is huge all right well thanks for tuning in and uh, joining me in opening this up uh, i'm going to now sort this all out and take some pictures close up that i can add on and yeah i hope to have a review of this up soon i really want to play this it's i'm quite excited to try it out okay thanks for watching <laughs>